in the victims or the suspect in this case in Halifax. This time we anticipate remaining at the uh, command post, having that active through Friday. The crime scene is going to be held throughout the weekend and the investigation is continuing. Uh, we are making arrangements with the Clinton County Coroner and forensic pathologist Dr. Michael Ladwig to return and re-examine the crime scene as part of our investigation. At this time, I would like to uh, have the Deputy Chief address uh, the media and the audience, and then we'll be prepared to take any questions you may have. Deputy Chief. Thank you. Before I begin, I'd like to uh, express our condolences to the Manor family for the loss of your husband, Carson, and, uh, and the words to express uh, our sympathy for your family, for you and your family. As the captain stated, this, the suspect in this case, Mr. Race, was apprehended in Arlington, Texas. Arlington, Texas is on the immediate border with the U.S. Uh, US Mexico border, uh, approximately 30 miles west of Brownsville, Texas. Uh, at the point of arrest, the suspect uh, resisted arrest, and the agent had to subdue him. Uh, after transporting him to the station, a, uh, obviously the weapon was discovered at the point of arrest. Once they were transported to the station, they ran a serial number on the weapon and discovered that there was an entry that the weapon might be associated with the uh, with the uh, crime, uh, the murder of uh, Mr. Fanner. Uh, the FBI has been uh, working closely with the New York State Police, um, and uh, I think uh, the Border Patrol uh, was started assisting the New York State Police immediately after the the crime was uh, discovered both on the ground here with our, our Champlain station agents, uh, aerial support provided by CDP Air and Marine, and the ultimate arrest of the suspect by a Harmony Border Patrol uh, agent. Um, this speaks to the partnership that we have with the local, state, federal, and uh, foreign agencies, uh, law enforcement agencies, and uh, our commitment to uh, protecting the border and, and gaining operational control of our border and to reducing crime in, in the immediate uh, border area and in the United States as a result of our enforcement actions. So uh, I think this is a, a good example of us working together. We've got a good, strong working relationship with the New York State Police and all other agencies in the immediate area. And uh, we're glad that we could uh, support your cause. Thank you, Chief. Just a raise for race, uh, Captain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm on, uh, I'm Border Patrol. Very new uh, routine patrol uh, saw uh, a suspicious individual near the border area and approached them and determined an agent. At this point, uh, Mr. Race is claiming to be a, a Canadian citizen. We have not verified that to this point. Uh, as to the matter of his entry, that is yet to be determined also. Uh, we don't know if he came in legally to a port of entry or if he tried to uh, sneak across the border and do it legally. Uh, yeah, I think. This leads to a good point, and we've got a very strong relationship with the community here and throughout the Swan sector area of responsibility. We do have a uh, Border Patrol um, uh, enforcement team effort that we've got out. And we go to the community and we discuss our national strategy, discuss the importance of the community being involved uh, with border security, uh, reporting suspicious activity along the border. Um, we do provide a lot of support, like I said, to the local county sheriffs, local police, state police, and uh, we, we do the best job that we can, but there's always a room for improvement, there's always room for the community to assist us. And if, if I may, we've got a 1-800 number that anybody in the upstate New York or Vermont or New Hampshire area that sees something suspicious along the border, uh, whether they think it might be narcotics, uh, terrorists, uh, illegal aliens uh, entering the United States or something, something that just does not look right to the community's members, they can call 1-800-689-3362 and that will go directly to our dispatch center and we'll be able to dispatch a border patrol agent out to the scene and uh, maybe uh, even a partner for the local agency to go out and investigate the uh, suspicious activity. Just to elaborate a little bit on the circumstances of his arrest, uh, he didn't uh, give himself up easily? From what I understand, he he resisted arrest. Uh, he identified himself as a Canadian citizen and resisted arrest. Uh, and he had some bag with him. I believe that's where the rifle was. 
uh, 44 caliber uh, weapon, and, uh, and there might have been an attempt for him to try to retrieve that. Uh, the agent uh, observed that, acted immediately, uh, took the precautionary measures, and, and secured his arrest. What was it that alerted the Border Patrol folks to pull this fellow over? Well, he was on, he was on foot. It was an immediate border area. That the, the area down there consists of open fields, uh, crops, uh, open fields sort of like what you have here. It's not very wooded, uh, it's a very low brush area. So uh, just walking away from the river area uh, brings suspicion to our, to our agents there. Toward Mexico? Towards the United States. Captain? He was charged with two counts of murder in Halifax this afternoon. You haven't mentioned any charge here. Is there any indication if he will go there to face charges before authorities here are finished with him? Are you in touch with Canadian authorities with regard to that? We are in touch with Canadian authorities. Uh, however, uh, the suspect in this case is not in New York State. I, I apologize. Could you just start that again? Just without the microphone. It's right here. Uh, we are in touch with Canadian authorities, however, the suspect in this case is not in New York State. At this point in time, we have been in consultation with the District Attorney, Andrew Wiley, from Clinton County. Uh, we are in the process of continuing to pursue additional leads. I can tell you that Mr. Race remains the sole suspect in the homicide of Darcy Manor. We will be preparing criminal charges at some point in the near future and proceeding to the next tradition process. So you would bring him here before he went to Canada? Uh, it is our intention to bring him to New York State. Uh, however, the, uh, the, the timeline as to where he is going to go has not been, been determined as of yet. Captain, could you just repeat what you said about whether these two men knew each other in any way? Are you referring to Mr. Manor and the suspect? Yes. As of this time, we have absolutely no indication whatsoever that the victim and the suspect knew each other. And to elaborate a little bit further, uh, without going into too much detail, the evidence that we have obtained thus far from the scene indicates that Mr. Manor was completely unaware of the impending assault against him. And do we have any theory about how Mr. Race may have ended up there he simply and walked across the border? Uh, I'm not going to discuss theories or speculation. Just what, facts. What charges is Race being held on now in Texas? He's being charged on assault on a federal uh, agent. Police in Halifax say those two murders uh, had similar characteristics, they didn't elaborate, but have you talked to them about your murder to determine whether there are similar characteristics, or is this one different than those two? Uh, from what I know about the uh, investigation in Halifax, and our investigation, uh, there are not similar characteristics associated with it. Does it appear he simply killed this gentleman to take his truck? You know, I've been What's the extent of the involvement of the FBI? The FBI is, is the agency responsible for investigating assault on federal officer for charges. And will that delay the extradition process? I, I don't want to speak for the FBI, ma'am. I'm, I'm not exactly sure of where they are with the process. I know that they're working closely with the New York State Police investigators, and, uh, and at some point they'll make a decision on whether they're going to charge them for the assault or extradite them in New York. Was the Border Patrol agent hurt in any way, or was he was uh, slightly injured, received medical attention, uh, but I believe he's back on duty. And he, uh, where does the extradition situation stand now? Uh, I'll speak just for New York State. Uh, we will not begin extradition proceedings until uh, criminal charges have been commenced in New York State. That has not happened. Uh, we are in the process of gathering additional evidence as well. Uh, we are in no hurry at this point. Uh, the suspect has been taken into custody by the United States Border Patrol. He is being held in the public safe. Is there a limit to how long he can be held before he has to be charged for an additional time? I'll refer to that.
Well, if they charge him with the assault charge, is that something that they could always dismiss later on to affect his uh, return to New York? I'm not exactly sure where they are with that process. Where is he being held? Uh, I'm not going to disclose the uh, exact location. He's being held in Texas. That's the case. Do you have any more details on the location that that where he's found? None that I'm prepared to provide. Uh, just that's still under investigation. I mentioned earlier that we have investigators in Houston, and I believe they're in the air now, and they're going to be uh, pursuing numerous leads associated with the discovery of Mr. Nino's victim from in Houston. Has any evidence been recovered so far from you? Uh, just the truck, uh, the processing of the truck for forensic evidence, or any other physical evidence that is pending the arrival of our investigators. Any, any indication what possessions of the victim were found on Mr. Racing's person? Uh, I'm not going to disclose that. Any, any idea of what really took from um, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Any, any idea yet what route he took from Morris to Texas? Have you yet been able to trace anything? Partial route, yes, but it's not complete. Can you say about what that route was? Uh, not until we've completed our investigation. Have you obtained any surveillance video? Do you have any order either on foot or physical? There were two uh, people that were uh, identified as being strangers in that area. Does he fit the description of either one of those? Uh, that's being investigated. in a 
very alert agent in the uh, Swanton sector who had obtained information and provided that to us immediately upon this uh, homicide investigation. Uh, we had uh, Canadian law enforcement agencies as well as our investigators in Canada uh, pursuing that lead right up until the time that the Border Patrol notified us that they had apprehended a suspect in position of the weapon we were seeking and personal property of Mr. Mayor. But you say he is now the only suspect? At this time, he is the only suspect. There, are, there was no connection between the other individuals we were looking at and Mr. Race, uh, the other individual, which once again, he is now a suspect, so we are not going to name him. Uh, he uh, was cooperative and provided us with complete details of his whereabouts and a confirmation that he was encountered by the United States Border Patrol as well. Do you have a timeline for charges? You say that it's being <coughs> done now. Is, is that something that would be accomplished as early as tomorrow? Uh, I'm not going to rule out that possibility, but uh, like I said, uh, we have a lot of time now because the suspect in this case is in custody. What charges could he be facing here in the uh, I'm not going to discuss that at this time. You know, I would refer that to the district attorney. Can you tell us if prior to him being caught yesterday, if there was print evidence uh, from tying him to, to Halifax? I'm not going to go into specifics concerning the evidence that we've uh, uh, covered at this time. Uh, I have indicated for the record on uh, previous occasions that we have uh, secured a substantial amount of evidence in conjunction with the uh, crime in Moores or where there may be a connection with the crime in Halifax and we'll be working with all of our law enforcement partners to ensure that uh, all evidence is uh, secured, analyzed, and provided the results of that uh, analysis provided to the uh, respective agencies. Did Mr. Rice have any priors before the two murders that he was charged with earlier this morning? I'm not going to disclose that. So what would the answer to that? I, I'm not going to discuss that. <laughs> The, the, uh, did you specifically say your past the rifle had been stolen from the camp? <clears throat> yes. That is correct. It was not the victim's rifle. And the initial was also taken at the same time? We believe that to be the case. is for us to uh, complete our investigation in Texas as well as our investigation uh, here in the Moores area. Uh, there is a possibility, depending on uh, how things progress, that we will be dispatching investigators to Halifax area and vice versa. There may be uh, law enforcement uh, agents from Canada coming down here as we work together and try to uh, uh, solve these uh, you know, murders that have occurred in which uh, Mr. Uh, this is a suspect, and we will develop overwhelming evidence that's going to lead to his conviction. Why does this mean that Mr. Race will be returned to the United States? Once again, that would be speculation, but it, it, it could be within a day or two. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.